one person displaced, cats saved from Sheboygan House fire, man hospitalized after Sheboygan County hunting accident, human remains found in Adams County by Hunter. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, November 26, 2019. A hunting accident in Sheboygan County leaves one man in the hospital. The unidentified hunter apparently fell out of a deer stand Saturday just after 6 a.m. near School Road and Hull's Crossing Drive in the town of Greenbush. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office, the hunter reportedly fell about 12 feet. The hunter was located utilizing a drone unit and was taken to a local hospital for treatment of a leg injury. There is no further information at this time and the incident is still under investigation. Those planning to travel Wisconsin roads for Thanksgiving will face everything from fine to foul depending on the destination. The National Weather Service says that the Sheboygan area is in for mostly rain from a strong winter storm that will cross the southeast part of the state Tuesday and Wednesday. Moderate to heavy snowfall should be limited to central and northern Wisconsin and mostly northwest of Lone Rock to Fond du Lac line. Winds gusting as high as 45 miles per hour. Wednesday will be a problem though, and after a quiet Thanksgiving Thursday, the weekend drive home could be complicated by a colder, snowier system on Saturday and Sunday. <clears throat> Meanwhile, GasBuddy.com reports an average gasoline price of $2.38 a gallon, and local prices were low as $2.23 this morning. No injuries were reported after a house fire in Sheboygan over the weekend. The fire broke out Friday at around 7 o'clock at a home located in the 2600th block of Elm Avenue. When firefighters arrived, they found a fully active fire in the two-family residence. They were able to quickly put out the fire in one of the bedrooms, and they were also able to save a cat. No one was home at the time, and one person was displaced by the fire, which is still under investigation. A stabbing in Sheboygan leads to multiple charges for a Sheboygan woman. Police say she allegedly stabbed her husband in the stomach after some type of altercation. This happened Thursday night around 11 o'clock at the residence in the 1000th block of Clara on the south side of Sheboygan. The 23-year-old husband sustained serious injuries but is expected to survive. The woman faces multiple charges, including obstruction. A local farming organization is among 27 groups given grants by the State Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. Sheboygan River Progressive Farmers were awarded $35,000 in financial support to work with con conservation agencies and organizations to address soil and water issues in the Sheboygan River watershed. The grant is intended to promote innovations and practices not already covered by the other state and federal programs with the goal that the members will reach out to non-member farmers to help them adopt conservation practices as well. And finally, a heavy police presence is in Adams County for remains found in a wooded area. The Adams County Sheriff's Office, Dane County Sheriff's Office, and the Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigations were all in Adams County on Monday afternoon. The offices have announced that there are the area because human remains were found in, on Saturday, November 23rd in a rural area of Adams County. A hunter came across the remains on Saturday afternoon and called law enforcement. When law enforcement responded to the seed, they confirmed that the remains were human. 
The investigation into the remains is ongoing and no further information is available at this time. And that is our report for today. Join me again next week for more local news and information on Community News Review. Have a happy Thanksgiving. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.